it's you. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Back into the uh, tower. Stage two, prison of despair. Where am I? Last night's dream? Again? What the hell? I was at the bar and this girl came in and then. Damn it, I can't remember. What is going on? Well, that sucks. Alright, go. Cool. <laughs> New guy from last night? Boys, you're that guy from yesterday. Listen, watch out for the cracked blocks. They'll break after you step on them. Really? There are several types of blocks, such as cracked blocks and heavy blocks. Whenever you see a new block, proceed with caution. Good advice. Let's go. If there's nothing to stand on when you pull a block out, you'll hang from the edge. If you try to move to a space without a block, you'll hang as well. Try it out. Uh, so basically, if you uh, pull a block towards you while you're sitting here, you will fall off the edge and hang onto the block you're currently hanging on, or you're standing on. Or you can just move towards the screen and hang off that as well. From there, you can move around. It's a useful way to maneuver. I may have seen me use this a few times last time. Alright, I got it. Edge. If you can't see ahead of you, try looking around. You might find an easy path up. Use the right stick to look around. If you're stuck, take a look around before moving up. Let's go with you, let's see where I need to go. Edge. Edge. Uh. This, you guys this technique Edge. later. Edge. It's uh, something you actually learn later on. You can also push rows of blocks all at once, too. Rows of blocks can be pushed together. There's no limit to how many blocks you can move at one time. There's actually a uh, trophy for pushing five at once, I believe. When you touch a checkpoint, you will start from there if you need to retry. If you come across one, be sure to tag it. Checkpoints. As any good puzzle game should have. Alright, I got it. Those kind of uses to have right, right there. It. You've come pretty far. Good job. I'll see you at the landing. Everybody else is there too. Who's everyone? Alright, All right, I got it. Edge. 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 And I got gold for that area. Awesome. Looks like you survived. Who are you? A sheep? Do I look like a sheep? You're the sheep. Everybody hears the sheep but me. I don't recognize that voice. Who are you? Where the hell is this place? Wish I knew. One thing's for certain, though. If we don't run, 
We're going to be killed. Killed? If you see this place once, it's all over. You'll keep coming back every night. Every night? You're kidding me. We all have the same fate here. If you don't want to die, you've got to climb. So if I climb, I'll be saved? There's no guarantee. But take a look at that. See that bell? It's like a church or something. A church? If we can reach the top, there may be a way to escape. So there is a way. Like I said, there's no guarantee. But we gotta believe. It keeps us sane. Those who panic die first. Quit with all the dying stuff. I I'll do whatever you say. Just, just help me. Look, from here on out, I'm afraid you're on your own. I'm going now. No, 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 wait. You hurry too. Hey! I can't be serious. Alright. On the landings, you can save your progress and talk with the other sheep. Go on, talk to them. Um, there's actually a trophy for uh, helping all of the sheep. Um, if you're not careful, you can actually. Uh, they actually will start disappearing and dying. So, we are going to go for the trophy where we save all of them. Where am I? What's with all these damn sheep? That's all I want to know. Can you tell me anything? <laughs> they told me to go up. But what's up there? G give me a break. Alright. Everyone dies eventually. Dying sooner at least saves you some pain, right? When you see a uh, pink under talking means they have something to say, so keep talking to them until it goes gray. What is this place? Why was I taken here? Same here, wish I knew. What are those cages? Why are there sheep in them? I've had it. Get me out of here. What is this place? Nope. Right I've had it. Right. <laughs> if you don't run, you'll die. I've got to keep running. I can't die here. Can we team up to find a way out of here? I don't know you. I can't trust you. No, I'm not going with anyone. I've had it with people trying to trick me. Damn it! I'm going to survive, even if it means kicking off others. If you get in my way, I'll kick you off too. Dark. Uh, uh, I don't want to die. All right, if you want to uh, get the trophy, you need to click Calm Down here. Just calm down. Are you saying that to try to bring my guard down? I'm not falling for that. Everyone's just out to save themselves. Some asshole pushed me too. Next time, I'm gonna start shoving or I'll die. Everyone's just out to save themselves. All right, sure. I'll have to use that next time. Uh, make sure you talk to the sheep with glasses as well. We're discussing techniques. They're the key to survival. Maybe this will be useful. You want me to teach you the technique I found? Uh, this one as well, you have to say yes, tell me. You have to do this every time they request a uh, technique. Or teach you a technique. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Remember, this is my technique. Allow me to explain the pyramid. Pull out the same number of blocks as the number of steps you mean to climb up. You'll have the support you need to reach higher and higher, like a pyramid. Remember this basic technique. What do you think? Nice. Hmm, uh, I think that might be tough by itself. Consider using this one, too. Allow me to explain the slider. Pull out two blocks vertically. Then slide the bottom one over. Remember this basic action, which utilizes the properties of edges. Since edges connect, you can make a stairway, even in tight spots. Oh, you're a genius. How was that? Bet you didn't know. This one doesn't matter, so... Uh, yeah, I did. Anyway, what I want to say is this. If you're relying on luck to keep you alive, then it's all over. I know. My reporter's instincts are telling me... This dangerous form of free climbing has some techniques hidden within it. There are many techniques to discover. I guess the key is to find as many as we can. All right. If you find anything, you tell me, okay? That's in order. Yep. I'll have to use that next time. All right, we'll talk to everyone, so let's save. Uh, 
I'm gonna lose every time just because it's interesting. Is there someone in there? I can't see through that window. Then I'm curious what happens every time you uh, do it. There's someone in there, right? Why don't you take a seat? Fun fact, this painting in the background actually uh, changes with each floor you go to. For each stage. Oh, man. Uh -huh. Welcome to the confessional. It seems a new lamb has appeared. Who are you? This is the world of nightmares. You are the lambs who have been chosen. You will all be dead soon. What? That'd be ridiculous. But before I kill you, I want to determine your life's worth. So, I'll have you answer my question. Damn it, what is this? Question one. Is marriage the point where life begins or ends? Pull the rope with the answer that best matches your true feelings. <laughs> well, I don't find uh, marriage as an end. I find it as a... Well, not even a beginning. I just find it as a continuation. But... I guess it's a new beginning, so this that's one? how I view it. Oh, so that's your choice. That's surprising. Wait, who are you? Are you doing all this? No. I merely watch over the sheep. Someone else brought you here. Someone in the real world wanted you to be dropped here and wanted you to die. It's someone you know. <sighs> if you want the truth, you'll have to survive. But since you seek survival, I will take you to the next trial. And off we go. Damn it, what is going on? Now this, um, other player's answer is determined on who answered, uh, most recently. Man, I'm having my, uh, the, uh, majority here. Um, if you're offline, it is, uh, people that, uh, voted, I believe, either the last time you were online, or, no, not that, um, as a survey when the game was being made. Something along those lines. Oh, the other player's first time dated. I see. Second floor. There's still more? Commencing area two. Are you ready? Let's go. All right. All right, I got it. Are you getting the hang of this? How the fuck am I supposed to get the hang of this? I'm falling! I'm sorry, that was kind of funny. Hey, don't run off ahead. Help me! Sorry, man, but I'm not going to die helping you. I've got to climb, too. Oh, yeah. As you climb, you'll run into strange items. Strange items? I don't know what you're talking about. I'll try to remember for later. You can pick up on Remember, you can only hold one at a time. Press the square button to use it. That item in the upper right, the uh, circling cube, allows you to make a uh, spawning cube whatever you, you want. You probably can't hold many, but you should hang on to one, just in case. Really bloody helpful. I'll take this. Yeah! I like to save them for as long as possible. Hey, about those coins. Yeah, what are these? I don't really know, but the amount you get depends on how fast you climb. If you're looking to collect a lot of them, keep that in mind. Your score is measured in Enigma coins. As you climb up each new step, more coins will be added to your score. Use these coins to purchase items on the landings between stages. Your score is also used as a condition for unlocking additional game features. The faster you climb, the more bonus coins you will earn. If you want more coins, climb faster and aim for a high score. Right, up we go. Right, I got it. Edge. 
also has a cube on the block over here. Well, right. Almost there. One more thing I forgot to mention. If you're crushed by a falling block, you're dead. Are you serious? Give me a break! If you are crushed by a block, the game will end. Watch out for wobbling blocks. Alright. <laughs> Others here and there. The fighting's gonna start getting fierce. You mean the other guys climbing with me? They're in my way! They're all trying to climb, like you. This is a dog eat dog world. There's no time for courtesy. Anyway, no matter what pops up, stay calm and keep climbing. Two creatures cannot stand on a block at the same time. Sometimes sheep will get in your way if they try and climb. To move a sheep out of your way, move up against him and shove him. All right. All right, I got it. All right, I got it. Edge. All right. All right, I got it. Heavy blocks. I hate these fuckers. Edge. All right, I got it. I see you're still alive and kicking. The hell is this place? How high does this damn thing go? I don't know. I wish I did. The map on the left side of the screen shows you how far you are from the goal. Stages vary in length, so be mindful of your progress. Always good advice. All right, I got it. Survived. Impressive. Now I believe I'm not hundred percent sure that the individual stages go towards your overall goal with the uh, final four, or the final stage of uh, this game. Not hundred percent sure on that though. It's you. Looks like you're still alive. Is that you? You're safe too. Barely. Still. How many people died trying to come here? People? I mean... Listen, here, you see everybody else as sheep. But all these sheep, they're really human. There's got to be some reason why we were all brought here. What reason could there be? Why do we have to suffer like this? Who knows? But, I do have an idea. An idea? But stop the speculation. It's just going to confuse us more. <sighs> You should think of what to do next. I'm hearing rumors of something big coming soon. You be careful now. Something big? Still, you're really getting the hang of things. There's nothing more I can teach you. It can't be true. Come on, you gotta have something you can tell me. If we're lucky, we'll meet again. <sighs> hey, wait! Biggest coming. While on landings, you can learn techniques to help you climb higher. Crawling around blindly won't help you escape. There is valuable information to be found, and you can only find it here. It's true. Now let's save before we do anything else. seen them lying around while you're climbing? I'll trade you useful items for them. Huh. Would you rather have coins than an item? I'm a numismatist. I love money. 
There's nothing in life money can't buy. I've got a plaque with that on it in my office. No matter what world you're in, as long as you've got money, you can do anything. These gold coins are symbols, symbolizing money. And if that's the case, then I can save myself if I have enough of it. That's my theory. Oh, so you don't know... If you are still having trouble getting to a stage, you can buy items with coins. If you are already carrying an item, it will be replaced if you buy a new one. Be careful. However, buying items makes it more difficult to earn the gold prize. If you want an item, pony up some coins. Tonight's product is... The white cube creates a block in front of you. So if you want to, you can. I already have a block, so I don't need to do it. And I'm, I never buy from them anyway. No, I don't need to. Huh? You think you're window shopping or something, pro man? Uh, uh... <clears throat> Excuse me. Please come again. Alrighty. Hey, are you the same as me? Were you put down here by some trick? Why were we chosen? Do you know anything? Come on. How can I survive? I can't keep climbing. The only thing I do. Listen, if you want to live, you can climb. That's all you can do. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You gotta stay calm. <sighs> calm. Uh, I, I do feel better now. Thanks. Alright, cool. Ah, ah, monster! Fuzzy and fluffy at the same time, and it's coming right at me! <laughs> Snap out of it. There's nothing like that anywhere near here. The talks. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Huh? Well, he's disturbing. Hey, didn't you shove me just a few minutes ago? How dare you? You're just some sheep! I'll shove you next time! Hey, I heard that all the sheep here are actually people. New flash! Fuck you! I need to make sure I survive! If you want the trophy, uh, say that's not right. No! Right or wrong, it's about life and death. Yeah, what good is having pity going to do you in here? No matter what happens to anyone else, I'm gonna live. Oh boy, that won't end well. What's with all the cubes? I don't understand any of this. What should I do? Please help me. Just got a call. Learn some techniques to get higher. Techniques? Like what? Oh, come on, teach me! A anything! Maybe this will help. Allow me to explain the tornado. If blocks are stacked all over the place, calm down and pull them out one by one. Move them aside and bring them down like a tornado. Then make a staircase and climb. Whoa! Is that how you climb? Wow! You're amazing! Oh, I think I can go on a little longer! Yep, you've seen, my, uh, you've seen me use that quite a few times. I saw a sheep fall past me on my way up. I, I can't get that scream out of my head. It won't go away. All you hear is your own death scream. You can stay here. But even this place will fall eventually. Alright, like before, talk to Sheep of Glasses as well. That sheep again. I gotta play dead. I'm not a sheep. All the sheep here are really human. Really? What? Really? I... I just pushed two sheep a little while ago. <laughs> How high does this reach? We found a landing of sorts here, so we should expect there to be other sets of stairs. Don't tell me we've got to go through this tomorrow, and the day after, and... Third time's the charm, right? <sighs> I found this out just now. We also got to, uh, talk to him as well. Yo! Met before? You survived because of the techniques I found, huh? Teach me something else. That's for the uh, trophy I mentioned earlier. Tell me something. Let me show you another great technique. Allow me to explain suspending. This technique gives you more room to maneuver. Push a block off a ledge with nothing below it. As long as the edges connect, the block will remain in place. How's that? I'm a regular blockologist, huh? Hmm, that's a good start. Try to remember this one, too. Allow me to explain pullback. 
If you climb up and find yourself stuck, try pulling a block and backing down. By creating a stairway as you go down, you will be able to go higher than you could before. That's crazy. You knew that? Yeah, we knew. Anyway, what I'm getting at is, this kind of stuff has to become second nature to you. I know. I can't just rely on my natural reporter's instinct. It's the truth. Just techniques, huh? I guess the trick is to learn as many of them as possible. Okay, if you find any new moves, you come straight to me. This is coming from the executive manager. Alright, sure. Let's uh, save one last time. Before we go uh, bother the guy in the confessional. Who's in there? Sounds like a kid, but he can't be. Hey. I told you, sit down first. I like messing with him. Oh, You're here, Lost Lamb. You'll be answering another of my questions. I've had enough of this. A man's worth can't be measured by a single question. This is the second question. If you were to get married, would you like an older partner or a younger one? Honestly, I wouldn't really prefer. I wouldn't really care. Um. Which one? If I had to pick, I guess I'd go with older. But honestly, neither really matters to me. So that's your answer. I see. I'll answer your question this time, little lost lamb. This entire place is an immense sanctuary. There are eight floors. This is the second night, and only the second floor. Wait. Does that mean there's an end to this? If I can get to the end, I don't have to die? Don't get your hopes up. You'll never be able to reach the pinnacle. Anyway, listen. I hear the sounds of your night terrors approaching. <laughs> Are you ready? I like that laugh. So what the hell's going on here? <laughs> I really like the uh, kid in the confessional. I don't believe you ever see him. I'm not 100 sure on that, but I like his uh, voice actor. He's the same person who voiced uh, Teddy in Persona 4. Oh, I'm actually in the minority this time. Like I said before, I honestly don't care about age. If I were to be uh, with someone or to marry them, it just—it not something that bothers me really. There are limits, of course, but. It doesn't really bother me that much if she's like a year, two, three years younger than me or older than me. Final floor for tonight. You won't escape. This first uh, boss fight isn't all that difficult. Oh, come on, take responsibility. Right, I got it. Right, I got it.
Is it gone? I'm safe, right? Yeah! That wasn't too, too bad. Let's see uh, what I got. Congratulations, Arden. Another gold. Your escape from the prison of despair was perfection indeed. <laughs> Um, I'm going to explain this at each uh, end. Um, since this is a dream, the uh, boss you fight actually has a psychological reasoning for being in Vincent's head. I'm going to explain the psychological reasoning each time. Uh, if this bores you, you can skip it to the end. Uh, this is actually going to be the end of the set, so I'll see you guys, I'll see you, got those guys, next time. But if you're interested in psychology, this is going to be kind of interesting to you. Uh, this is my uh, personal take on it. I'm not 100% sure if this is what the meaning was. Um, future sets will actually have the uh, meaning intended. Um, if this is wrong, I'll actually correct it in the next set. Now, this boss is called the Doom Hand. It represents Catherine's uh, hands. You can tell that by the blue fingernail polish, the white hair coming up her arms, and the fork, because those were uh, things that were actually focused on when we last saw her. They are supposed to represent, if memory serves, Catherine trying to take Vincent's freedom, freedom away from him, with all this talk of marriage. Kind of interesting in my opinion. Anyway, um, that's it for set one of Catherine. The next set will be uh, uploaded on Friday. I hope you guys enjoy the game. I hope you guys enjoy uh, hearing or learning more about Chikyo himself. And I shall uh, see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you for watching the LP. If you liked it, feel free to like and subscribe to our channel. It really does mean a lot to me to see you guys liking my LPs. If you want to keep up to date on all the Memento Mori's going on, like us on Facebook and visit our website. Links to which can be found in the main pages about section. Anyway, thank you again and I shall see you guys next time. Bye.